ഹമ്മദുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹുഹു
to break something down. So we're gonna break the word down to its origin, to its root. Okay, and this is the purpose of solve. Okay, so in every mustaq word, those word that can be we can uh, make solve of has two element. The first element is the its root word. Okay is jizr. You don't have to know the Arabic terminology. Just think that uh, every Arabic word, every Arabic word, no matter how big or how small the word it looks like, it's boiled down to some root word, some root letters, okay? And mostly the all Arabic letter, like you can say even 90% of Arabic has three root letter. How many? Three. Most of the Arabic word, it has three root letters or it can some sometime go to four nothing more than or nothing less than that so all arabic word i, can, I am saying all but it's like you, you can say most okay so all arabic words are have three root letter okay any word you you can say it like muslim right muslim we oh, you know muslim muslim means what uh, muslim man right muslimun muslimun Okay, so Muslimun, basically, if you break it down, then you will see only these three, Sin, Lam, and Mim, is the original root letter. Okay, and Mim is just an extra thing. So this is the root. So every Mustaq word, every word that can be made surf of, has a thing called root letter. And it also has a family. Okay, it also has a shape. So we have to study two things in uh, SORF basically. We have to study what are the root letter and what is, how the shape is forming, which family it belongs to, okay? So the family will be called Bab, okay? And the family members of every group will be called Siga, okay? This terminology will come um, in your, in our class dis uh, discussion. So we'll try to make it simplify, but those are the terms used classically. The root word is called jizr, and the family, the word belong to is called bab, and all the family members of this family is called a siga. Okay, so what is surf? Surf basically means we study the pattern of the word and how a meaning can be derived based on the pattern by just looking at this word muslimun right it's mu beginning is how it's shaped like how it sounds like it creates its own meaning like you can see muslimun mujahidun uh, then muallimun every word what you're hearing mu at the beginning right so that has an Im uh, implication too Okay, in Arab, they develop this uh, uh, this uh, method. You can think surf like a machine, okay? And you put like three uh, three letters, just sin, lam, and mim. And you put three letters, and you put those three letters into those machine. And I'm saying machine by means family, right? And you put those three root letters, these are the true root letters, sin, lam, and mim. And you put this root letter in any families, any machine, and it will make you like thousands of new word. So you don't have to memorize thousand word. You just have to memorize this root and how this machine work, okay? So if you know the root, what is the meaning of this root? And if you know the machine, the family, how this family work, then you can make like 100 words out of just one root and you don't have to memorize all those uh, word by itself, okay? And so that's pretty much about the surf. Anyone has any question about surf? Let's Mm, see what's root and what is family okay because i'm saying root and family always uh, so think of uh, three root okay ein lam 
and mim okay ein lam and mim look at these words there are eight words over here alimun ilmun muallimun allama alamu ma'lumat ta'limun ta'allama you find anything similar in all those words ein lam mim yes every word has ein every lam and mim ein lam and mim ein lam and mim ein lam and mim every word has it right you got this part ein lam and mim every word has the same uh, exact roots so these so all those word their root is the same okay their root is the same al al ein lam and mim but their shape is different right the shape is different this shape is alimun this shape is ilmun this shape is muallimun you see those words are different and they create a very different meaning alimun means scholar alim is scholars ilm is knowledge muallim is a teacher allama is a filmad he taught ta'allama he learned ta'limun ta'lim means education ma'lumat means facts alamu means more knowledgeable see so all those just the root is the same and the shape is different all were shapes is different and it making new meanings so if and and if you look at all those words all everything is based on learning like he taught teacher knowledge scholar knowledgeable fact education everything what is ein lam and min ilm means knowledge everything is about knowledge see so if you know just one root then you can make many words with this root then you don't have to memorize all those root so you have right now idea about what is root word right yeah okay so this is called root word and you have also idea about the shape of the word right uh let's do something else okay okay uh, look at all those word in the uh first line is muhsinun listen to it very carefully muhsinun muf si dun mus li hun mus li mun mush ri kun mu mi nun mur si lun do you hearing a one pattern say it and then you can uh, understand the pattern muhsinun mufsidun musri muslihun muslimun mushrikun mu'minun mursilun you hear the same pattern no 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 the first one is mu and then a sukun mu then a kasra and then tanvin mu si nun mu si dun mus li hun mus li mun mush ri kun mu mi nun mur si lun you hearing the same pattern yeah you understand so the shape of all those word are same you understand what is shape now the shape means the pattern like you can say it how the word is uh, spelled is the shape first you gave a mu then a sukun then a kasra and then tanvin all of those word has the same exact spelling but their root are all of their root is same here muhsinun no no here what is the root ha sin mim so every word has mu so mu is not the root okay mu is not the root mu is added okay so what is the root muhsinun 
ha, sin, and nun, right? Mufsidun, what is the root? Swad sin dal. Fas, fas sin dal. Mufsidun. Muslihun, swad lam ha. Muf muslimun, sin lam mim. Mushrikun, what is the root? Shin, ra, kaf. Shin, ra, and kaf. Mu'minun, hamza, mim, nun. Mursilun, sin, or sorry, ra, sin, lam. Okay? So all those have, see in first example, all those word has same root, right? Ain, lam, and mim. But their shapes are different, right? They're spelled in different way, every word. And that created different meaning. And in second uh, example, all of their shapes is the same, but their root is different, so it causes a different meaning. You understand? You are you are getting the concept? Yeah. Oh, yes. So. Uh, now look at this example. Here you can see takallama, tatakallamu, takalluman, mutakallimun, takallam, mutakallum. See, in all of them, do you find anything common? Kaflam mim. Kaflam mim. Yes, kaflam mim. Kaflam mim. And kaflam mim put in a, a family. And do, anything else do you find common in? Every ha one has ta, ta right? No, everyone has ta. And shadda, yes. Everyone has ta and shadda. Everyone has ta and shadda. Right? So all those belong to one same family, okay? The families, okay? I, I told you there are a few things, right? Root word and families, right? Bab. So all those families, how many families there are in? There are like approximately 36 families, okay? But we don't, we are not gonna uh, memorize all 36 because in Quran, most commonly used are like uh, the, the those, uh, like 14 or 15, 15 families, okay? Those are most commonly used and we're gonna stick to those only, okay? And in Arabic also in general, those 36 is rarely used. So, but Arabic language is huge, huge. So they, they have a, their vocabulary is the extreme now in number. So we're not gonna, learn about all but you can see so this is a family okay and families every families has some commonalities so by those commonalities we can uh, identify that okay this is from ta and shadda family so this all word is from ta and shadda family right you can see another example from here it's jahada okay Jahada, Yujahidu, Jihadan, Mujahadatan, Mujahidun, Mujahadun. Do you find anything common? Yeah. The root is Jim, Ha, and Dal, right? Everyone has Jim, Ha, and Dal. But everyone also has an extra alif. Everyone has an extra alif. So this is an extra alif family. We can say that this is an extra alif family, right? So this is called family. And each member of the family, and family is called bab, okay? Family is called bab, and each member of the family is called siga, okay? Siga. Why not it is ha family or dal family or jim family? Because those are the root word. Those can change. We can change uh, the root word to it is called jahada, right? I, I can say uh, 
uh, where uh, there's another example zahaba okay so the 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 thing is changed right it's not uh, uh what you can or qatala i can say qatala right qa ta la so qa ta la qatala right qatala see the root word change right here is root word is jim ha and dal here root word is qaf ta and lam but the extra alif is always remain okay so both are same family alif family yes both are from same family but with different root yeah okay okay so sometime you can find a uh, same word putting in different root okay same a uh, family with different root will cause different meaning and same even same root in different family will cause different meaning okay so we have to uh, identify basically two thing we have to first identify the root words and also which family is belong to okay okay moving forward so you understand about the family thing right okay. what is uh, what is the family called in arabic bab bab and what is the family members called siga siga yeah siga okay so this is a normal family look like okay this is a normal family look like this is a uh, family you can call, name the family allama family okay this family is called allama family okay just I, i'm just giving you the name it's a, it doesn't matter I just think of this as an one family okay and each family has these members the first one is fail madi you know what is a fail madi fail madi present fail madi yes. is present fail madi is present past tense past tense yes fail madi is past tense verb right fail madi is past tense verb past tense verb and you can see the past tense verb is the original or you can say the first member of the family okay and when you say you saying this is the first member and this fail madi will always uh, be in three letters okay as a, in general but it can be changed okay the fail madi uh, think of the fail madi is the elder son okay is the first member of the family okay so then come fail mudari what is fail mudari present tense verb. present tense verb present tense verb present tense verb okay present company future tense so see uh, forget about uh, how they look for now on just re, um, try to remember the members okay so first you got fail madi and this is the first one in the list and then come what Sec second one is fail mudari okay so i don't have to explain what is fail madi and fail mudari right i hope yeah. not okay yeah. then come the third member is called the master the third member is called master you have to know what a master is because uh, you never heard of this concept before uh, so fel madi you know fel mudari you know master is the actual name of the act name of the verb okay Though so fail madi like i am I'm, uh, i'm saying that allama allama means to teach right I'll, i'll just get any word so he taught he taught what is this fail madi what kind of word is it fail madi fail madi okay then he teaches what is it madi fel mudari but what is the name of the act what is the name of the verb 
best way to win is stealing. Teaching. 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 Yes, teaching. Teaching, you do that, you have to like make teaching is the name of the verb. And right. any name of verb is also considered an ism. And this ism is called masdar. Okay? So the name of the verb is considered what? An ism. An ism. And this type of ism is called al masdar. So you understand what is masdar? Master basically mean name of the act. Okay, it can be translated. We uh, in our ism study, right? In our first class, we start uh, studied what is ism, and ism can be name, place, idea, right? So the idea of the act is master. You got got it. What is what is a master? Yeah. Okay. So those three things you understand. Fel Madi, Fel Mudari, and Masdar. Okay. The fourth member, this is the third member. So third. The fourth member is called Ism Fa'il. Ism Fa'il. Ism, you know Ism, right? And Fa'il is what? You will study the word. Yeah, doer. Ism, the doerism, the doerism, right? Ism file means the doerism. So here, uh, the concept is very simple. You know the act, right? So someone who is doing the act is ism file. You understand? So the name of the yes. doer of the act. Yes, teacher, you, you got it, teacher. The one who doing this act is called ism file. Okay, so the one who is doing the act of teaching is called ismul file. You got this four? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So those are four siga of this bab. Okay. Now let's uh, come to the fifth one. And rest of them are easy, pretty easy. The fifth one is Fel Madi Mabni Lil Majhul. You studied this one a few days back. It's passive Fel Madi. Do I have to explain what is a passive Fel Madi? U E. You remember? Okay, so I don't have, I don't, I, I'm not going to explain this one. It's passive Fel Madi. Then, the sixth member is passive fel mudari. Do I have to explain it? What is it? U a. No, right? I hope you remember. So it's passive fel madi, passive fel mudari. Then uh, this is the same thing. Uh, with the purpose of memorization, it written twice. Okay. This is the same thing, master. So it is not an extra family member. The member is. Uh, first one is Fel Madi, second one is Fel Mudari, third one is Master, fourth one is Isam Fail. What is Isam Fail? Uh, it is done. Uh, Sorry? Like uh, the work is done by who is Isam Fail? I mean, doer. Yeah, the, the, the doer of the act, right? The doer of the act. The one who is doing or the one who has the quality of the action okay whatever uh the the act is whatever the file is the one who has the quality of doing it is the ism file okay then we uh, got uh fail madi mabni lil majhul and then fail mudari mabni lil majhul means fail madi passive and fail mudari passive okay then we got isam maful Isam maful. What is an isam maful? An isam maful is the passive doer, the one upon who is the act is done to. You understand? Or no? Okay. So isam file is someone who is doing the act, right? You got this part? And Isam Maful is upon whom the upon whom the act is done to. That's student. Yeah, 
yeah basically if muallim is a teacher then, uh, then he's a mafuli student okay or you can say the passive uh, passive doer okay the passive doer you understand the concept of isma full so i don't okay then uh, this is how, how which number i forgot the count 5 6 7 right okay now come the eight member of the family is al amr you remember what is amr fel amr commanding okay and then come the fel nahi you remember the concept of fel nahi negation. the negation or the forbidding so commanding and forbidding i do i am not going to explain what are those and the final one the final one is called number 10 is called ism zarf ism zarf ism zarf basically is the time or the place of the act see arabic is so much rich in their language they even have a terminology for the time or the place of a act piece being done the act itself is teaching right is fell madi and the then from there you can got the fell mudari and there from you got the idea of the act idea of the act and then what you got someone if someone do the act what you name it what you name him they have even word for that any act and if you know the rule then you can make uh you, you can make the name of the doer who the one who has the who has the ability to do the act or who do the act you can name it by yourself you don't have to know the vocabulary and you can know how to make passive and you can even know if someone the act is done upon someone how what to call the, call it is a maful then you can know what is the amr what is the nahi and even they have word for the act like allama means to teach right he taught the time of being teaching or the time or the place of being teach is ism zarf okay ism zarf is two thing ism zarf is how many thing it's two thing and the two thing is either the time of doing the, the time of doing the act or the place of doing the act okay place the means time. For school yeah yes so you got this idea so, so what will be fe uh, fel nahi fel nahi uh, yeah the forbidding like what uh, don't teach yeah don't teach um, you, you didn't study the uh, amar and nahi we did it uh, like two or three days back okay fel amar and fel nahi how to make fel amar and fel nahi okay so all those things okay all those things is one family okay and there are how we have to learn at least 15 of them in these few four or five days okay but every family this is one family right and every family has how many 10 uh 10 members right so one family one bob has how many uh siga 10 yes one family has 10 family members and you know which family member is what right and uh let's today is just the basic concept okay so bear with me so if i say this family and if i say only the name of the family members like allama yuallimu ta'liman muallimun Ullima, yuallamu, ta'liman, fahuwa muallamun, allim, la tu'allim, or muallam. These things, I, what I did, I said the name of the family member, okay? 
like this if you say the name of the family member it is called surf and this this is surf okay this is surf surf is how to identify the root how to identify the family and by identifying the family you can make other words okay this is surf you understand what surf is so if i say only the name of the family member it's called surf sagir what sagir means small small surf okay what does sagir means family member small small sagir means small so if i just say the name of the family member allama yuallimu ta'liman like this it's surf sagir and allama right allama is fel madi right so if you know just one word allama is what which form huwa huma which one whom allama is huwa sorry huwa huwa allama is huwa so you can make another 14 word out of it right first you got all the 10 family members right sir sagir uh, let me put down the number it's 10 i think for this family is 10 right and uh, sir sagir uh, okay so for allama how many words you can make out of allama 14 huwa allama huma allama hum allamu hi allamat huma allamata hum hunna allamna right like this you can make 14 out of it then come to uh, yuallimu yuallimu is fel mudari which form huwa yuallimu right huwa yuallimu and for fel mudari how many word you can make another 14 right huwa yuallimu huma yuallimani hum yuallimuna right and then come ta'liman ta'liman is an ism right you can see by tanvin and it's a masdar masdar means the idea idea of the act itself it's called masdar and you can make in the muslim chat right ta'allimun ta'alliman ta'allimin ta'al sorry ta'limun ta'liman ta'limin ta'limani ta'limaini ta'limaini okay so like this you can make so many more words and uh, ism file is muallim and is for ism file you you can got muallimun 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 muallimani muallimaini muallimaini okay and you can you can also make the feminine muallimatun muallimatan muallimatin female teacher so you can see right every word we can conjugate it separately and make it surf kabir and we can make like hundreds of words right so what you are doing is you are knowing you are recognizing just one family and you are recognizing the uh, the root word and you are making so many uh, new words with this okay so it's very important okay so the terminology i'm going it over again so wait how is a hundred being made is it because of 14 times 10 sorry how is a hundred being made more than 100 oh i'm just uh, it's uh, just a number for allama you can get uh, get like you know allama means he uh, taught right you can yeah. you can say she taught also right so you send different word yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can say uh anta, she taught, right it's a different word say uh, like uh, we taught right it's a different word same way so for you all limu mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm getting is like, so you have like from the just the pronouns, you have 14 words plus mm -hmm. the 10 different families, right? Yes. So, so each, like, say, like, you know, you can, uh, you can just look at uh, a, a Mudari or Madi. That's, that's Madi. 28 right there. Madi. Yeah. And for um, okay. Islam, Islam, for in Islam, you can get the Muslim, 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 Muslim. There is also so many words, right? Uh -huh. So muallimun 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 muallimani muallimaini muallimaini muallimuna muallimina muallimina muallimatun muallimatun muallimatin. Right? Yes. Yeah. For masdar, it's 
uh, slightly different. For masdar, it's small. Uh, it's like ta'limun, ta'liman, ta'limin. Ta'liman, ta'limain, ta'limain. And then you don't uh, masculine plural child. You just go to directly feminine feminine plural child. Ta'limatun, ta'limatun, ta'limatun. Like this. You will, will learn that in later session. But what I'm I'm going to is all those ten members. If you know the ten members, it is called surf uh, sagir. Okay, okay. And if you know all the details, each and every word, if you go to its conjugation, it's called surf kabir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this whole thing is called one single family, one single bab. Okay. And each member of the family is called. Siga. Okay. Uh, and the, uh, this, this is the issue. Because, and also, it's important because in uh, Arabic, uh, if you want to find a word in the dictionary, right? If you want to find a word in the dictionary, you cannot find muallim in the dictionary. What you have to do is you have to find the root word. Okay, because Arabic dictionary, if they want to put every word in the dictionary, the dictionary would become like uh, like one track, like big of like one track, because they have huge loads of vocabulary. So what they do is they sort it out like this in families. And what they do, if you want to find muallim, then you have to know which family it belongs to and what are the root word. And the root word is ayn, lam, and mim. And then you have to look to the dictionary what ayn, lam, and mim means. And then you have to find out what mu'allim means. Okay? This is how you have to find words in dictionary in Arabic. We'll discuss that in our future session, inshallah. Now let's move forward. How do you classify the surf? How to classify the surf families, okay? Surf family can be grouped into two large groups, okay? Two large groups. Okay, first one is the Mujarrad. Mujarrad uh, means, basically means naked, okay, naked. That means this word is the pure word, pure word. They are not added with anything. Like we studied the, our word Nasara, right? Remember Nasara? Okay, and the Mujarrad word are three rooted word. And uh, when we're saying Mujarrad, it's basically the first letter, first member. We are talking always about the first member. What is the first member of the of family? Which would be Nasara family? No, 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 no. We just studied the family, Bab. What is mm -hmm. the first Siga of the Bab? Allama. Yeah, what is Allama? Felmadi, right? Yeah. Okay, so whenever we are saying the root is mujarrad, okay, that means it doesn't have anything added to it and um, doesn't have anything added to it in the fel madi, in the first word, there is no extra, extra thing. It is just three naked word, na, sa, ra. Okay, you can say fa, ta, ha. Okay, fa, ta, ha. Is it a naked word or not? Fa, ta, ha, three rooted word, okay? There is no extra word outside the original roots, okay? Uh, you can say uh, like ka, ta, ba. Is there any extra word? No. No. So it's, it's, it's a mujarrad, it's a naked word, okay? Uh, if I say, uh, Okay, now let's uh, look at another example. Uh, asla. Is it, a, is it, an, is it a, na a naked word or? No, there is an extra alif, right? So it's not, it's not, it's not mujarrad. Or if, if I say like uh, jahada, say uh, jahada, is it, is it naked? 
No, there is an extra alif. It's not original three rooted word. So if the word has like okay uh, so if there is no extra word in the root in the fell madi our first siga if there is no extra word then we are calling this word a mujarrad okay like this example like na sa ra ka ru ma sa mi ha da ra ba fa ta ha all those example you can see they are plain there is no extra word only those three root letter is there in fel madi that means this group this family is a mujarrad family okay and then come mazid family mazid family means added family okay that means they have some extra letter or extra harakat added to this family okay mazid means mazid means added mazid literally means added so mazid means they have extra letter added to the extra letter or harakat added to the original root so in aslama alif is extra i'm telling you which one is extra after studying each and every group you will or learn eventually which one is extra and which one is not in al lama see is ain lam and mim but the shadda is an extra ja ha da the alif is an extra ta al lama the ta is the and ta and the shadda is extra okay ta a wa na here ta and this extra alif is extra okay is ta fa ra here this east part is extra and actual word is ghafara so if there is no extra thing in fel madi let me say it again and again we are considering mujarrid and majid based on which one first sigra fel madi and fel madi huwa form okay huwa that means the root 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 and this is called the root the the purest form if the huwa form of fel madi has no extra harakat or no extra letter in it then we are calling it mujarrad family okay mujarrad family okay or small family you can say it. okay and if the huwa form of fel madi has extra harakat or extra letter in it then we are calling it mazid family or you can say it big family okay big family okay so we will start from mazid family because mazid family is easier than mujarrad family okay and also you have to note in arabic right uh they what they do the name the letter in a certain way okay so i told you every uh, arabic is formed with how many letters most of them three mm. forget about four okay so yeah, they yes i can tear you properly okay so like it's it has under three letters like one uh, two that's just the heart right yeah sorry i'm really sorry can you type can you just uh, type it down okay if you hear me now maybe? yes yes i can hear you now so if something has under three letters like one or two that's just a, no no uh, no no they they are they are, they are never never gonna be you will understand it in later later class they're never gonna be it's either three or four nothing else okay okay so they just uh tend to name those letters okay they have a name for this letter too they call every letter with fa ain and lan fa'il, right fa'ala they call every uh letter fa'ala and they compared all letters with fa'ala okay fa ain and la is classically they done it this way okay so nasara fa 
they call noon is the fa letter swad as the ain letter and ra as the lam letter they name those letter with this pattern okay so for karuma what is what will be the ka referred to kaf they will call kaf as the fa letter they will call ram the ain letter and they will call mim the lam letter they just name it okay this way so samia what, what will they call mim the ain letter the ba in toraba lam lam the fa in uh, fataha fa fa family okay so here aslama okay alif is extra i told you you will understand the lam and mim is the actual root so what will the lam refer to ain ain letter ain lam and mim what is the mim refer to lam lam letter ja hada what is the jim refer to uh jim is uh, the fa. fa fa okay so you understand the concept fa la yes. so they will refer each uh, each letter to its uh, fa ain and lam okay okay let's start uh, today just one family in short as possible when we'll start with the mazid fi mazid fi mazid fi means uh, the one who has an extra letter or extra harakat added to mazid fi means uh, the one uh, in which there is an extra not the original three letter there is an extra okay just to introduce you tomorrow we're gonna start from here inshallah again and if you study just one group properly the rest of uh, there there will be like domino effect you will know it and it will build your vocabulary and it's very important uh for you to understand the root and the families okay so uh the thing is classically actually not classically classically they just call the family by its name but when the grammar is developed right the modern grammarian they name every family with a number okay they name every family with a number so this family is called family 2 if you see classical text you will never find family 2 but if you see contemporary uh, like dictionaries or, or stuff then you have to remember this is called family 2 whatever we, we watch which family we are about to learn okay and uh, in classical text they call it babul taf tafrilan babu tafril okay bab means the family right and tafril okay where the name tafril come from i will tell you in a few second but they will name it this way either with number family number 2 or babu tafil okay so these are the family members right siga fil madi fil mudari masdar ism fa'il fil mabni lil majhul fil mudari mabni lil majhul then masdar again and ism maf'ul is a fail amr fail nahi and zarf okay okay so babu uh, tafil or uh, family number 2 uh, in modern uh, dictionary it's called family 2 uh, in contemporary or uh, in traditionally it is called babu tafil so it is basically the allama family we will call it the allama family okay or in a modern book they call it faala family because ain is referred to what fa right so fa and lam is referred to ain and mim is referred to lam right and we will keep the harakat same fa a la so it's faala they also call it faala family okay faala family because it's pattern allama family okay so each time if you see 
فعل مادی از علامہ اور فعالہ پیٹرن دا فعل مداری ویل گونا بی یو علیمو اوکے علامہ یو علیمو اوکے علامہ یو علیمو it gonna be same exactly the same always 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 so what is the extra in this uh, letter the extra in this group in this family is the shadda in the ain letter the ain letter has a shadda in it okay and this is the identification point of this family fa has a uh, fatha mim has a sorry fa has a fatha Lam has a fatha and ayn has shadda on it. And this is the identification point of this family. And if you find any family rhymes to this one, allama, allama, fa'ala, okay? Then it's uh, mudari. It's mudari gonna be what? Yuallimu, what? You have to say it with me to... Uh, so if the fel madi is allama, the fel mudari gonna be? Allama. You allimu. Allama. You allimu. Allama. You allimu. And you have to memorize it like this way. And the masdar, the name of the act will be ta'aliman. So allama you allimu. Okay. Allama you allimu ta'aliman. Say with me. Allama you allimu ta'aliman. Allama you allimu ta'aliman. 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 Okay. So if the harf is fa'ala, right? Fa'ala. So what is the mutari will be like? Asad, I'm sorry. You say it in your, without turning on the mic because there is too much noise. Sorry. Uh, so, the if the madi is fa'ala, what gonna be the mudari will be? It's gonna be rhyme the same way. You say you. You is extra, right? You and it say a. Ah. Ain is our fa letter, right? So you fa. Then lam is our ain letter. You fa e. Lu, you fuck ilu. See, we are not changing any harakat or any anything because harakat is um, is the is, is the way you rhyme something. So fa'ala you fuck ilu. Allama you allimu. If I say baddala you baddilu. Bashara you bashiru. Uh, then kazaba you kazibu. Azaba you azibu. Swaddaqa yusaddiqo. Okay? This is how you have to uh, memorize those. And you see, the masdar is ta'aliman, right? Ta'aliman. So if I change it to fa'ayn and lam, it's going to be taf... Uh, taf'ilan, sorry, taf'ilan. And see, taf'ilan, taf'ilan. Tafilan, and you can see from here the uh, the family's name is Tafil family, Babu Tafil, because they uh, think every word with the fine and lam, so that's why they will do it with every family. They will choose the masdar from that family with fine and lam, and they will name it with Babu that. Okay, so this is for today. I don't want to burden you guys with so many things. Uh, I recommend you to go through this video again and try to understand the concept of self. If you understand the concept, the rest, everything will be easy, inshallah. And we're gonna uh, discuss about uh, the families from uh, family number two, for, uh, inshallah, tomorrow, okay? Okay. 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 Okay.